Hello everyone, I just want to film a quick TBN for the month 2020, also middle grade month a little bit hopefully, and I wanted to do something that I haven't done in a long time. A couple years ago, someone had done an A to Z readathon, which was basically read a book for every letter of the alphabet that starts with A and so on. So I thought to clean out some of my 2020 TBN list, I thought I would do something like that. So the first book I want to get to is Autobiography by Christina Lauren, and I'm thinking I'll try it out on audiobook once. I haven't listened to any of the books. I've always done physical copies, and I'm curious to see if I'll like it this way. For the B, I wanted to try reading Blood Rose Rebellion. I don't know if I'll like it or not, so I have a backup, which would be Bay of Town by Frederick Bachman. I've heard so many good things about this. And I'm really hoping I love it. And since it's supposed to be like a hockey one, I'm thinking this is a good time to read it before Winton leaves us completely. Even though it doesn't feel like it sometimes. For the C, I wanted to try Caroline Little House Revisited by Celia Millen. I'm not sure if I like it. I've read all the Little House books. And I found out that I like the TV show better. So I'm not sure if I'll finish it. So as my backup, I have... It Comes So Dunk and Lonely by Bridget Kem. I can't even pronounce that, sorry. I've heard so many good things about this. It's a Beauty and the Beast retelling, I believe, and I'm really looking forward to that one. For D, I have quite a few options. Sorry about that. I thought I would do 31 books in 31 days, hopefully, so anything that I have for extra is going to fill out those last five books. So I'm looking at Dawn of the Pirate King. I'm trying to really switch out my genres. And then I have Deadly Little Secret. I don't know too much about that, but I know it's on my list for a few years to read. And then Devoured. Can they send that one too? For an E, I wanted to read Emmy and Oliver by Robin Benway, an audiobook. For an F... I want to read Famous in a Small Town by Emma Mills. Emma Mills is becoming one of my favorite authors. One of many, I should say. For the G, I want to read Good Morning, Good Night, Little Pep Talks for Me and You. And this one was recommended by my niece, so I'm hoping I really like it. And it's nice to switch in some nonfiction during the month. For the H, I have a few options. It's Hush Hush by Becca Fitzpatrick, an audio. For the middle of green months, I thought I'd try to read Hilly at the Spy. I don't know. Hopefully I'll like it. I want to keep reading Hilly Potter, so Hilly Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, and make a video about that coming up. I'm looking forward to reading Inspection by Josh Malaman. I read the bots and I liked it, so I'm hoping this one's just as good. And then I have The Jewel by Amy Ewing. I think this cover is just beautiful. I don't know too much about it. I'm hoping I like it. And then I've heard Peru's project and many others talk about keeping the lost cities. And I figured it's a great time to pick that one up. And then for L, I want to read A Love, One, and Life by Jeremy and Audrey Roloff. I'm really hoping I like this one too. We'll see. For M, I have two. Milkweed by Jeremy Spinelli, which would count for Middle Green Munch for the Out of the Country Challenge, I know. And then I want to read Munt by PC Cass and Chris and Cass. I have read, I started reading this series a few years ago, and I don't remember which book I left off. I want to say, like, between 7 and 9 is when I left off, so I'm just going to start from the beginning. I really liked it before, and hopefully I'll still like it. And I've been getting some major Jane Austen vibes lately, so I want to read Northanger Abbey, which is a retelling of Northanger Abbey. And for the O, I want to read One Small Thing by Ian Watt, or The One and Only Ivan, which is Male Green Munch again. For the P, I want to listen to The Prince of Being a Walpole, which I've heard so many good things about it. I've seen the movie, and I thought the movie was so-so, but it's time for me to give the audiobook a chance. And for the Q... The Queen of the Tierling by Annika Johansson. I'm hoping I like this one and I don't DNF it. Like I said before, I'm not afraid to DNF books. For the R, I have Rebel of the Sands. 
and Rebel Bell. I'm hoping I like one or both of those. For the S, I don't have it with me, but I'm hoping to read Sadie on audiobook, and I found audiobook is the way to go on that. And that one's coming from my library right now, so. And T, I have The Toll by Neil Schusman. I am so looking forward to reading this book, even though it's a chunker. I also have This Is When It Ends and Twice in a Blue Moon. So those are some options for that. For you, I have Under the Covenant Princess. For V, I have Vanity by Clean Hoover. For W, I have The Weight of Feathers and Wounds in Deep Blue. And, oh, I should have mentioned X and Z are free freebies because it's hard to find a book that you want to read that starts with that. So anything that I've mentioned extra could fill in those spots and maybe I'll come up with something else. And then, you know, the one that I want, I've heard good things about this one, too. So there you have it. Those are all the books I want to try to get to. Like I said, I want to try to tackle 31 books in 31 days. And if I DNF, I'll find a different book to cover it. And I'll try to update you every week or so. What's on your list? Thanks for watching and have a great day.